Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome to day 15 of Let's Play EVE Online. And we've got 18 minutes, hooray! So as of tomorrow, I should be able... Well, it depends on the skills, I guess, of the... The, uh, the last tutorial agent here, but, uh, yeah, I should be pretty close to getting, uh, my Tech 2 turrets, which will probably come in fairly handy, I guess, during these missions, depending on how much combat actually is involved, like hardcore combat, because these missions are probably going to be a lot to do with electronic warfare, so, uh, yeah, so, alright, uh, so who's the agent we got to talk to? <laughs> um, yeah, let's go to help here, career agents... It's him, because I've talked to all the others, but just to make sure. Yes. Nave, Mostin. Alright. Nave, Navi. Who cares? <laughs> but uh, yeah, alright. I'm just going to say Nave. Because right. so, it sounds nice. Alright, so we do have combat here. Alright. <clears throat> Welcome, Brendan Alexander. I've been told to expect you. You're here to learn about the more advanced aspects of war warfare, yes? If so, I'd be happy to teach you what I know. Your first assignment would be a basic one, something to ease you back into warfare if it's been a while since you took the combat tutorial. A local businessman and close friend of mine is being blackmailed by a pirate cartel that frequents the system. I'm concerned about him meeting with them to pay, rent, pay the ransom, and I want to be sure of his safety. If you want to demonstrate you're ready for the trials ahead, perhaps you could take my friend's place and simply kill the pirates threatening to blackmail him instead. <laughs> yeah, sounds right. And we'll get propulsion jamming. Uh, do we already have that one? Yeah, we do have that skill already, but uh, <clears throat> I guess we'll have to either sell it or do something with it. But Alright, let's accept it. And we're going into this stuff all over again. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, make sure my ship's properly equipped here. I got the three turrets. We don't need the core scanner anymore. Nor do we need this. Um, we'll keep this stuff. Um, and uh, I would like the uh, salvager, though. Now, though I guess I probably won't be doing much salvage. Eh, just to show you exactly what the magnet is like. Uh, yeah, so you get some pretty decent bonuses, capacitor use, so obviously it's not really meant for combat, but more for, you know, the actual exploration part of it, but anyways. Um, so what was he going to do? Oh yeah, put the salvage around, but honestly I really don't see why I would do that for this mission, because I'll probably... Eh, I'll put it on anyway, just in case it's not a lot of ships. Yeah. Alright, let's fit that, fit that, and you know what, let's put this on as well. Keep in mind, I know this is nowhere near cap-stable, but... That's beside the point. <laughs> we are nowhere near in the uh, vicinity of doing that kind of stuff yet. Well, actually, we are, but there's actually a specific tool I want to introduce you guys to at the very end of this LP. It'll probably be the last video of this series. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so that's, that's actually not too far away. So, Also, in that episode, I will be uh, confirming whether or not, confirming or denying whether I'll continue the, uh, the next part of the series, I guess you could say, but anyways, before then, let's, uh, let's group all the weapons here. Alright, let's throw that on, and let's get over to the swap. Ah, I forgot to take those out. Oh, no biggie. That's one thing I like so far about the, uh, the salvaging, is that those metal scraps, they used to be, I think, they were either 5 or 10 cubic meters each the last time I played this game, so it's really nice that they toned down the size of them. I think now they're like either 0.1 or 0 0.01 cubic meters, so yeah, they would take up a huge chunk of your cargo hold when every time you were salvaging, especially uh, particular uh, races of uh, NPC rats or pirates. Yeah. NPC pirates are usually called rats in this game, and well, pirates are usually the, uh, player, the players. Because they're a bit more, uh, um, what's the word? Not lenient, the opposite. Uh, uh, not so nice, I guess. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on here? Alright, let's just take these guys out. Yeah, put the uh, Moldau laser back on, and, uh, yeah, we've got a pretty decent mo damage modifier. Let's see, uh, so optimal is 25, 30. Yeah, we should be fine. <clears throat> Ooh, one shot. As opposed to two fry. <laughs> Alright. I guess I slowed on order. Well, now I'm orbiting it. But... Yeah, this thing does a lot of damage. Even at low levels like I am. Uh, 
I'm thinking I might have to come back for the salvage, <laughs> depending on how many waves we got here. There's another skill I think I might actually start training as well. Um, just for the sake that I, you know... As you can see, especially when you get into a Punisher like does this, a uh, ship that does this much damage, having only two ships targeted at once can be rather, I guess, tiresome. But, hey, are we done? <laughs> it looks like we are. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess uh, maybe I will... Uh, how many times... How much... <laughs> um, yeah, let's... I guess salvage this on screen. Hopefully it won't take too long. Alright, let's get that going. And then let's hit over at that. Yeesh, did they hit me? No, they didn't hit me at all. And that is the efficiency. Yeah, these things are... yeah. No, point zero one. There you go. Awesome. All right, let's get that up. Let's go over here and uh, loot this one. And at least I've got the uh, Salvager three, uh, level three or something like that. So like, this stuff is going pretty decent in terms of time. If I only had like salvaging one, then yeah, I probably would do this off screen. But we're doing all right here. Yeesh. We're in now. Uh... Awesome. One cycle for all of them? That would be awesome. Even more awesome than the last time I said awesome. Awesome. Alright, let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's all we have to do. Yep, alright. That was nice and quick. Awesome. <laughs> alright. Yeah, the skill I'm actually referring to is actually called targeting, oddly enough. Uh, where is it? There we go. Yeah, this basically, each level adds an extra target to your... Uh, the number you can target. I think the Punisher can only go as high as four. Docking I'll check that as soon as we dock here. So I, only, I would only need to train it to level two, and that'll be quick. Alright, let's finish this. And there we go. Awesome. Alright, let's uh, get that skill. Alright, 20,000 this skill. Alright, let's just buy it. Checking to see if there's any players selling it, but I guess not. Alright. Alright, let's, uh. Where is it here? Alright, train now to level 1. Oh, yeah, I was gonna check to make sure this, uh, this thing can target 4. Four. All right, so we got two, so we just need to train that to level two. Is it turning? No, it was... Electronics, yep. Oops. And there we go. All right, on to the next mission. Uh, all right, ooh, sweet, we'll get a crucifier. <laughs> now we're getting into the electronic warfare. Next assignment I have for you may seem a little strange, but I think you'll learn something important in the process. We've discovered the headquarters of, a, of the pirate group you just dispatched in your last mission. There are a few members of their little cartel remaining who may use this headquarters to rebuild their group. We must not allow this to happen. I'm about to give you a frigate loaded with proximity-based explosive charges. Ooh. 
Your job is to fly it into their headquarters. When you see that you're not just when they see that you're not just some average combat pilot, that is that you're a capsuleer with access to clones, they'll get the message and disband if the explosion doesn't kill them first. If you've never lost a ship before, don't worry. Once a frigate explodes, you'll find yourself in your capsule. As soon as that's happened, get the out of there, and you, your work will be done at that point. Alrighty, sounds like a kamikaze mission. Let's do it, I guess. This is, to, I guess, to get you used to losing your ship. <laughs> yeah. Uh, engagement is on the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different types of missions reporting the correct ship. Yeah. Anyways. Alright, so where's that new ship we've got? The Crucifier. It's essentially just basically strictly in a. a uh, Electronic warfare ship. Um, yeah, I think. Let's see, information say is, is uh, yeah, tracking disruptors. But anyways, uh, is that all we have to do? Just get in the ship and go. Or I guess so. All right. Is there anything else we got to do? Um, the mission flight for your agent in the base. Once the explosive charges inside have been set off, your assignment will be complete. Oh, okay, so I guess it must be inside, so don't fit anything to it. <laughs> you know what? I'll fit one of my afterburners to it since I've got an abundance of them. It's really going at high speed. Make sure it's online. We're good to go. Alright. This is a very flimsy ship too, so don't think about taking it into combat. Warp drive active. Yeah, uh, tracking disruptors just to let you know in case they don't go into it. Uh, there's two, well, a lot of I guess mid-slot, that's what a tracking disruptors are a mid-slot uh, type of module. Most of them that are active use scripts. Like uh, uh, sensor dampening uses scripts, uh, tracking disruptors use scripts. Um, tracking, no, I don't think tracking computers do, they might. I, I think they actually do. But anyway, what, what the scripts do is just basically, it, well without them, the modules um, modify both, well, in terms of, terms of tracking disruption, modify both uh, the, the targets targeting distance as well as their um, the turret's tracking ability or no not targeting distance um, the turret the, the target's optimal range of their turrets uh, and they've got scripts that will allow you to I guess what are we doing here please don't tell me I had to uh... oh, okay I think I'm just supposed to uh, die but anyways <laughs> But yeah, so they've got scripts to, you know, switch it over to strictly, you know, reducing the, or affecting the, uh, the tracking of the turrets at full power with nothing up gone to your, uh, nice. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. With nothing going to your, uh, what is it, I saw, that kind of distracted me there. <laughs> Pretty lights, but, uh, yeah, so... Uh, switching over to a tracking script uh, basically really boosts your your effectiveness at uh, disrupting their tracking speed of their turrets, but it removes the ability to you know um, disrupt their optimal range. And conversely, there are optimal range scripts which heavily drop the optimal range of the target, uh, but the uh, tracking is not affected. So most of the time, it's actually good to uh, you know. Focus on one rather than uh, rather than have both. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. So that was a nice and quick one. Awesome. And there we go. Let's complete the mission. Good work out there. Hopefully you've seen for yourself that losing a ship isn't the end of the world. Certainly not like it is for people without clones. You capsuleers have a saying, though. Don't fly what you can't afford to lose, actually. <laughs> yeah. That, ex that saying's been part of this game for since before they made these uh, agents. 
There's definitely some wisdom to it. If you stick to cheap, expendable ships to begin with, you'll be able to learn without risking everything you own. And as a capsuleer starting out, you want to keep the cost of learning as low as possible. Understand? Yeah, definitely keep that in mind. Uh, so, that's done. Alright, so I guess uh, that's all the time I have for this episode. Um, well, let's get this thing set it out. It's a bit late now, so I can't really record two episodes today, but uh, we're actually almost at three quarters of a million skill points. Nice. But yeah, um, yeah, so we've got gunnery almost done there. Or small energy turret almost done. Uh, what do I learn? want to learn instead? Should I take this to the full? Hmm. Or... Maybe we should take gunnery? Yeah, I'll take gunnery to level 5 as well. No. I don't know. Um. Hmm. You know what? Let's get some better optimal range, I guess. Yeah, that sounds good. Better optimal range. There we go. Alright, so that's all the time I have for this episode. And uh, next episode, well, we'll probably be able... Yeah, I'll, I'll, by the time I record next, I probably will be able to... Uh, use Tech 2 turrets, so I guess I'll, if I find out that the, uh, eh, who knows, well, I guess we'll find out together, because I won't know until I log in, and you'll be logging in with me, so. Alright, so this is Intrepid83 signing off, thank you for watching, and have a good one.